your first coach was probably the person who first put the racket in your hand when you were two years old. Your mother, uh, Judy, who yeah. was also the coach for the Scottish uh, national t tennis team. What did you learn from her uh, about the game? Um, the most important thing that my mom kind of did with me and my brother when we were growing up was that she made it fun. Um, I think in an individual sport it's very important for kids uh, to enjoy it. You know, I think it can be also easy for parents to put a lot of pressure on their kids um, and I see it a lot around tennis tournaments and I've spoken to a lot of tennis parents now and I always try and say just let them enjoy it because if they don't, once you get to a certain age, um, you know, where you're allowed to kind of make the decision as to whether you play tennis or not, it's easy to just stop because you're, you're not going to enjoy it if you're under pressure from a young age. And every time I went on the court with my brother and my mom, I had a great time. She was always smiling, always finding fun things for us to do. And it made a big difference. There was no pressure on us ever to play. Me and my brother at certain times, I stopped to play um, football or soccer for, you know, four or five weeks and not hit a tennis ball and it was never like you you must play tennis this is the only thing you could do and with my brother the same thing happened with golf he he stopped playing tennis for three four months at a time and was just playing golf so she was just very encouraging and um, you know made it made it good fun you wrote in your autobiography uh, quote my whole tennis career happened because when I was growing up my brother was much better than me at most things. Explain how you think that impacted you. Well, my brother is 15 months older than me and we pretty much started playing tennis at the same time and we do, because we we're so close in age, we would literally play all sports together. And he was always a little bit smarter, he was a bit bigger, stronger and just better than me at all sports. And you know, I used to lose to him a lot and I was always, from a young age, I was always trying to get better. I was always trying to, I looked up to my brother and I wanted to be as good at him, as good as him at all these different things. And I think that's one of the reasons why today I've always been trying to, always keep trying to, to improve. Um, and probably one of the reasons why I became very competitive because from a young age, I used to lose a lot, I used to lose a lot to him, uh, which I didn't like, obviously being my brother, but it's something that you learn how to deal with, and the best way I found to deal with losing was to try even harder the next time um, to, to win, and that was it. So tell about the first time you finally beat your brother. Yeah, I, re I remember the uh, first can time. Can we see the fingernail too? Yeah, you can. Well, I don't know if you can see it there. It's that one that's kind of still. Okay, you can yeah, see sure. it's, it's broken right. here. Yeah, it's never grown back properly. Because, yeah, when I beat him, uh, we played <laughs> in a tournament in Solihull, and we sat next to each other on the minibus on the way back, which probably a mistake from my, my mum letting us do that. She would have known what was going to happen, and I was obviously winding him up um, that I'd beaten him um, for the first time. And he punched me on the finger uh, and yeah when we got off of the, the service station my finger had turned completely blue and yeah lost lost my fingernail which I wasn't that disappointed with but something I always remember because I see it every single day it's never grown back properly.